Hey everyone, welcome back to Coded Row. In this video, we're gonna be going over a simple blueprint of a swinging ax that does damage every time it overlaps your character. Hit that like and subscribe if you wanna stay updated. Thanks for watching and let's get started. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is in the content browser, you can put this wherever you want, just be more organized with it. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'll right click on my content browser and create a blueprint of an actor. And in my actor, I'm just gonna create this and call this BP Swinging Ax. And I'll double click to go into it. And in my swinging ax, I will add a static mesh of a swinging ax. And in this tutorial, I'll be using the Polygon Dungeon Pack. I love the poly style, love this company. So I'll add this ax, the swing blade prop, and hit compile and save. And now in the event graph on begin play, I will create a timeline and I'll just call this, I'll just leave it as timeline. And then I'll double click into my timeline and I will add a float track, which is gonna be new track zero is fine, or I'll just do Ax swinging and the length, I'll change the length to three seconds in this case. And I'm gonna wanna add three dots, which is gonna be a looping pattern. So for the first one, it's gonna be at zero and the value I'll do negative 70. And then for the second one, I will do one and a half because that will be the middle part of my three seconds. And then the value will be positive 70. And then for the third one, I will do the full three seconds, which will also be negative 70. So now when I hit F on the keyboard or this zoom to fit horizontal button, I'll select all three and then I'll right click and I'll select auto just to give it that curvy feeling. So I'll hit compile and save and I'll go back to my event graph. And now once I'm in my event graph, I'm gonna drag out the update and do a set relative, set relative rotation. And now I'm gonna drag this out and I'll drag out the ax swinging and type in make rotator. And I don't want this um, to be on the X, I actually want it to be on the Y. So it swings against the blade or towards the blade. And then for the return value, I'm just gonna set it to the new rotation and compile and save. And then what I'm gonna to wanna to do is actually apply the damage. So first let's go ahead and test it. So when I drag this out and I'll bring this up and now when I hit play, you're gonna see the ax swinging in the correct direction, but it stops. And that's because I need to turn on looping. I actually forgot to do that. So I'll go back to my swinging ax. And then when you click on your timeline, you'll see this symbol called loop. So I'll just go ahead and click that. And now when I compile and save and go back into the map and click play, you're gonna see that it is gonna be constantly swinging and it's not gonna stop. So that looks good. But when I go near it, it doesn't actually do any damage. And it actually pushes my character bit out of the way and gets in the way of my camera, which is annoying. So I'll go back to my swinging ax and in the event graph, I will be I'll right cl I'll click on my ax and then when I scroll down, I'm going to on component begin overlap and add this plus. So it'll automatically know that it's overlapping with the ax itself. And then I'm just gonna hit apply damage. And the other actor will be the damaged actor. And then I'll just set a value here and I'll set this to 20 and hit compile and save. For the ax, I'm gonna scroll down until I see Collision. So under collisions, the collision preset is currently block all dynamic. I'm actually just going to select overlap all. And this is just, if you expand this, it's going to pretty much show you what exactly it's overlapping. And it's going to overlap the character. It's going to overlap the camera, which is what we want because we don't want it to get in the way of our camera. Because while it's swinging, it's going to keep clipping. And we want it to overlap the character to actually apply the damage. So now that we have this apply damage function, and we created our health bar in the last tutorial. Um, if you haven't created your health bar proper way, uh, make sure you click that link in the description below. Now when I hit play, I will take damage every time this ax passes through me. And yeah, that's pretty much how you create a swinging ax blueprint that, uh, that does damage. And in the more advanced tutorials, we will add hit reactions and impact effects and sound effects and all that. But yeah, that's pretty much it for our simple blueprint. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to Code with Row if you wanna support the channel, the Patreon's in the link below. And see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.